In this video, I'm going to go through transformations of shapes and I'm going to start with translating shapes. There are four types of transformations. There are translations, reflections, rotations, and enlargements. Translating a shape means moving it. To move the shape, you need to be able to read column vectors and I'm going to go through what these are. So column vectors describe movement. They are written in brackets. The first number, the number on top, represents x. You are thinking of a grid. So x is um, a horizontal line, so it describes a movement left or right. And the number at the bottom is y. It's a vertical axis and it describes vertical movement so that is up or down. If the number is positive, so 2 is an x value and it's positive, it means that I am moving two steps to the right. When the x value is negative, that means I am moving four steps to the left. Again, if the y value is positive, like here, 3 is positive, that means I'm moving three steps up. And if the y value is negative, that means I am moving down. You can have a column vector with 0, something like 0, 3. This means that there is no movement left or right, but there is three steps up. So you could, you could have um, a vector that has one of the numbers as a zero. The first example says translate, move triangle A using the vector 3, negative 2. So remember this is an x value, so this means three steps to the right because it's a positive number. The minus two is a y value, so we're talking up or down, but because it's a negative number, it means I'm taking two steps down. You are expected to move, well, you are moving the whole shape, but you need to look at each vertex separately. So I'm going to color code them and I'm going to move each one using three steps right and two steps down. Now, when you start counting, you start counting with the first move. So your pencil should be um, on one of the vertices. I'm going to start with the blue one. And as I move, that's one. That's the first movement. So don't start counting one here. You haven't moved. So one, two, three steps to the right, and then one, two steps down. And that is my new vertex. I'm going to remove these. I'm going to do the same with the green one. I'm going to move one, two, three steps um, to the right, and then one, two steps down. And I'm going to do the same with my pink one. One, two, three steps to the right, and then one, two steps down. And now I've got my triangle, and you need to use a ruler. And then you connect your shape to create the triangle. It would be best to have a um, a very sharpened pencil to do this and you definitely need a ruler and read the question carefully because some questions will ask you to label um, the triangle. This one didn't but it might ask you to label it and call it B for example. The other type of questions that they could ask is for you to describe a transformation. So they will not tell you that it's a translation or a reflection or an enlargement or a rotation. They will word it like this example. They will say, describe fully the single transformation 
that mapped triangle A to triangle B. So basically, how did triangle A become triangle B? And it's a single transformation. So that means only one thing happened. You cannot say it was rotated then reflected. Only one transformation is required, one out of the four. So if you've decided that this is a translation, the first thing you need to say it's, is that it is, in fact, a translation. You have to describe, you have to say which transformation it is. And if it is a translation, then you have to write the column vector. So the way to do this um, is to pick on one of the vertices, the same one, but on the different triangles, and then count the steps. Always start with the x step, so the right or left step, because that's the first number you're going to write. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7 to the right, so that's a positive 7. And then I'm taking, I'm, I'm here already, so I'm taking 1 and 2 steps down, so it's a negative 2. So I now need to write this fully. Um, it's a translation. By 7, negative 2. You could write by the vector 7 minus 2, but it's not necessary. So we've done both. We have said that it's a, a translation, and we've also written the column vector. And that is how you translate a shape and describe the transformation.